Good afternoon, I'm Sean Preble and you're watching Mediaplex Live at One. The Windsor Spitfires launch a campaign to aid Flint, Michigan through their water crisis. Before Thursday night's game against the Flint Firebirds, fans were asked via social media to bring water bottles as donations for the citizens of Flint. Reporter Sean Frame has more. The Windsor Spitfires launched a campaign to aid Flint, Michigan through their water crisis. Before Thursday night's game against the Flint Firebirds, fans were asked via social media to bring water bottles as donations for the citizens of Flint. You know, it's nice to have the rivalry on, on the ice, but it's also nice off the ice to, uh, you know, t touch some hearts, to start talking about the human side of things, and like I said, um, really breaking down the border between uh, Canada and U.S. and helping us, or helping them uh, in, the, in a crisis. According to Time Magazine, in 2014, the officials of Flint began extracting their drinking water from Flint River in order to save costs. However, the city did not use corrosion control to prevent water contamination. Since then, high levels of lead had been detected in their drinking water, and a state of emergency has been issued. Fans left heartfelt notes in support and permanent marker on the cases of water bottles for the recipients to read. Well, they're neighbors. They're only an hour away, and, uh, you know, they're in the same uh, league as our Spitfires are, so uh, you got to feel some compassion for them. Overall, a total of 60,000 water bottles were collected by the fans, enough to fill two semi-trucks and was delivered over the weekend. For Mediaplex News, I'm Sean Frame. It's crunch time for World Gym. The newest fitness club was to open its doors before the new year, but its two locations are still not open to the public. Owner Wes Hodgson said construction is underway. Yeah, it, it's really hard for us to give an exact date. We're working diligently on our LaSalle location right now to, to, to get that done within the next two weeks. Uh, I'm just finishing off some painting and uh, flooring now, uh, and then scheduling our equipment delivery and blows on locations. We are uh, just getting, finishing off some plumbing electrical inspections and uh, getting ready to close up all our walls. The frustrated response from one member received more than 70,000 views on Facebook. Hodgins says they are doing everything possible to get the opening date moved up quickly. He says the public can expect weekly updates about the facility's progress. Smoking cigarettes in Windsor Parks may result in more consequences than health problems. Kenneth Bullock is at the corner of University and Victoria to explain why. Kenneth? Thanks, Sean. Ward 9 Councillor Hillary Payne announced Monday that the Windsor-Essex Health Unit would be putting through a request for banning smoking in all public parks in Windsor. City administration is now reviewing ideas for recommendations regarding a new smoking bylaw. This could include bans at more than just parks. Currently, the Smoke-Free Ontario Act bans smoking at enclosed workplaces or within 20 meters of playgrounds and sports fields. Nothing has been set in stone for smoking at park benches. Between 17 and 20 percent of people smoke now. And so I think in fairness to the other 80 plus percentage of people who do not smoke, I think this ban should now take place. Payne said the Windsor-Essex Health Unit will be putting through its request soon to City Council. From the corner of University in Victoria, I'm Kenneth Bullock, bringing you back to Sean at the news desk. Thanks, Kenneth. Now for your weather. Today will be mainly sunny with a high of 2 degrees. Later tonight, it will be cloudy with rain showers with a high of 4. For tomorrow, we will see more sun with a chance of rain and a high of 3 degrees. Have you ever wanted to name a mascot? Now you can. Adventure Bay is holding a contest to name their new toucan mascot. The winner will receive a one-year pass to the water park. Participants can submit any, an entry online or fill out a form at the park. All entries must be submitted by February 12th at 11.50 p.m. City and hospital officials are meeting today to talk about local hospital infrastructure. They are currently discussing their efforts to get provincial investment for the proposed health care system that involves a new single-site acute hospital, among other facilities. Mayor Drew Dilkins, ward, Warden Tom Bain and members of Provincial Parliament for Windsor-Essex will be sending a letter to Queen's Park asking for financial support. Windsor Regional and Hotel Dew is asking for $2 billion from the provincial government for the project. Thanks for tuning in. I'm Sean Preble and you've been watching Mediaplex Live at One.